What's poppin' Connor I? Today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. I'm AJ. And I'm Dez. In today's show, we'll talk about an extremely rare Christmas star and the new AirPods Max. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. An extremely rare Christmas star is set to appear for the first time in 800 years later this month. On December 21st, the winter solstice, Jupiter and Saturn will be closer together than they have been since the Middle Ages. These two planets being so close together will make them look like they're a double planet, or what scientists call it, a conjunction. This phenomenon has been nicknamed the Christmas star since you will be able to see it between December 16th and 25th, Christmas Day. During this time, you can look for the Christmas star low in the western sky about an hour after sunset each evening. Everyone knows about the renowned AirPods, AirPods 2s, and AirPods Pros, but get ready for the new AirPods Max. The new AirPods Max are available right now for order, with availability on Tuesday, December 15th, and are going for about $549. The new AirPods Max are no longer earphones, but are now sleek, slim, and acoustic headphones, with tons of new features like noise cancellation, adaptive EQ, transparency mode, spatial audio, audio sharing, and automatic switching with a great 20 hours of battery and a sleek, comfortable battery case to go with it. So if you're interested, go order you a pair today. We will now take it to a quick commercial break. KTIG News will be doing a Teacher of the Week now. With that, there is a new way to vote. If you are interested in voting, you need to go to KTIGnews.com, click Nominate Here, then fill out the form with your information and the name of your teacher with why you are nominating them. The prize for the teacher that won and the student who nominated them will get lunch at the end of the month with the other teachers and students that won that month. The teacher will also get a special segment in the KTIG Newsroom. The voting has already begun. What's up, Conrad High? I'm Jalen here, your weather anchor for today. Today looks pre partly cloudy with a high of 72 and a low of 45. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 60. Friday we'll experience a 70% chance of storms with a high of 70 and a low of 52. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 64 and a low of 45. And Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 42. Now, fun fact of the day, Alabama was the first state in the U.S. to have recognized Christmas as an official holiday. We will now take it to CCC News, Sports, and then update from Dr. Smith. Hi, everyone. This is Ms. Beckham from the College and Career Center. Today's message is for seniors. Seniors, if you are not applying to scholarships, you're missing out on some free money opportunities. There are several scholarships available to seniors right now, so if you're not applying, you could be missing out. Um, some of those scholarships include three local scholarships for students who are majoring in fine arts. There's a local scholarship for students currently in fine arts but not planning to major in, uh, in fine arts. If you're an African-American senior who excels academically, there is a scholarship for you. There is also a local scholarship for seniors with hearing or physical impairment. 
If you're a member of FFA or 4-H and plan to major in an area of agriculture, including becoming a veterinarian, there's a scholarship for you. Seniors who are related to a current or former Marine Corps member, there's a scholarship for you. If you're a female senior with a 3.0 or higher GPA, there's a scholarship for you. And if you're a minority student planning to attend a four-year college that, and you demonstrate financial need and have strong leadership skills, there's a scholarship for you. All of these scholarships can be found in Naviance and they are newly found in Canvas. When you log into the College and Career Canvas course, you'll see on the home page a link for scholarships. Be sure to click on that and it'll take you to a list of scholarships that are also found in Naviance. Once you see these scholarships in Canvas, you can go to Naviance to find the application or the link to apply. Um, also, if you have received any scholarships or receive any scholarships between now and um, through the spring semester, be sure to stop by the College and Career Center and let Ms. Rodriguez know. We're keeping track of those so we can recognize you in the spring semester at our Senior Awards Night. Also, if you have been accepted to college and you want to share that news with our school, seniors, there is a link in the College and Career Canvas course for you to click on to share that news and we will announce it and let everyone know where you've been accepted. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or stop by the College and Career Center. Thank you so much. Good morning sports fans, I'm Deontay. Welcome to the Sports Jam Report. This past weekend, the Houston Texans first off versus the Indianapolis Colts, sadly losing 26 to 20. Deshaun Watson threw for 341 yards, completing 26 out of 38 passes, along with two Texans touchdowns. David Johnson had 10 carries, rushing for 44 yards, averaging 4.4 yards and a touchdown. Kiki Kochi had eight passing receptions for 181 yards. Sadly, there was no touchdown for him, but Kami Fairbairn kicked for six points to top off 26 for the Texans. Now, as for the Dallas Cowboys, they also lost to the Washington football team 41 to 16. Andy Dawson completed 25 out of 35 passes, throwing for 215 yards, which is so bad. He also threw an interception, but he did complete a touchdown pass to Amari Cooper, who had six receptions, averaging 18.7 yards, totaling to 112 yards for the game. C.D. Lamb didn't score, but he did collect a total of 67 yards for five receptions. But Greg Zuleran kicked a total of two points and a field goal percentage of 100 to help the Cowboys. As now for the Saints, the New Orleans Saints, I'm sorry, they beat the Atlanta Falcons 21 to 16. Sorry, Julio, with all the with the all-around player Taysom Hill starting at quarterback, he threw for two. 232 yards and two touchdowns, completing 27 out of 37 passes, which I think is very great. Alvin Kamara rushed for a touchdown and totaled out a great 88 yards, averaging 5.9 yards with only 15 carries. And Traquan Smith collected a total of 42 yards with three receptions, and don't forget the touchdown. Smith wasn't the only star of the night. Jared Cook also pulled through with the Saints touchdown along with 28 yards and three receptions. That's it for sports. Now we will take it to an update from Dr. Smith. Hey, Connor Tiger students and staff. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. It has been a while since I have come to you to give you an update. Mr. Landry um, was out for a couple of days helping Mrs. Landry take care of that sweet little baby boy, Jasper. Congratulations again to Mr. and Mrs. Landry on baby Jasper. Since I just have a couple of um, updates for you, just a reminder, final exam. So this week, our dual credit exams are going on. So good luck to all of you who are taking those. And then next week, we have our final exams. That schedule has been out. Also, please remember, if you are an in-person student, you are expected to be in person to take that exam. And remote students who are tuning in and watching this, please make sure that you have made arrangements to take your exam during your scheduled time. Um, also, we have a couple of half days next week. So students, when you finish your exam, you have the opportunity to go home in the afternoon to study for your exams for the next day. 
please do not go to any other um, campus in Conroe ISD. Again, only the high schools are going to be out early. It will not be until Friday that all of our campuses are going to be, um, that all of our campuses have early release. That is K through 12. Again, that's on Friday, the last day of school. Also, seniors, this is especially for seniors. I know that your counselors are calling you. We have had the opportunity to put in a mini mester in place because we want to make sure those of you who are unfortunately for whatever reason um, have not passed a class or two this semester, we want to give you the opportunity to get that credit back over the break. And yes, I do know that it's over the break and guess what, it's going to take some work. Um, however, if, if you're not really concerned about graduating um, in May, if you're okay with graduating in August or even next December, then no worries. You can just communicate to your counselor that you're not interested. Again, this is for those seniors who are committed to graduating with their cohort. And yes, guys, it is over the break. But again, this is something that we are offering to you. We do hope that majority of you, if not all of you, take this opportunity so that you can be sure to get the credits that you need to graduate so that you are graduating, in fact, with your cohort. Um, again, there are plenty of us here to help you. Doesn't matter if you are a senior, doesn't matter if you're a junior, doesn't matter if you're a sophomore, even you freshman. There are a ton of adults um, across both campuses, guys, to help you with whatever it is that you need. We want to make sure that we end this semester strong um, and that we do whatever we can to help you get there. Also, one more thing. I want to remind you that yes, COVID is still here. We need you guys to comply. Please comply with the rules that have been put in place. You guys are doing a great job in the hallways, doing a great job in classrooms. From what I understand, teachers, if you are having issues, please be sure to reach out to an administrator to let them know. But guys, it's in the cafeteria. Again, we have put stickers on seats. Very elementary, but we have put stickers on seats to help you be able to figure out where it is that you can sit. When an adult comes to you and asks you to move, please just get up and move. Don't make it a battle. Again, we are tired of this just as we know you are, but until this is over, everyone is gonna take 100% of us to do what we need to do to make sure that everyone stays safe. Again, if there's anything that anyone on this campus can do to help you out, please be sure to let us know. Everyone, let's finish this semester, and more importantly, let's finish this semester strong. Thanks so much, and Sikkim Tigers! Now, let's check out everything going on here at CHS. Attention juniors, on March 3rd, our campus will be offering SAT testing for juniors only. This SAT will not include the essay portion of the test. Please research ahead of time to find out if the college you plan to attend requires the essay portion. If so, you will need to take the SAT with an essay at another time. Registration is November 30th through December 11th at noon. Space is limited and the best part is the cost of the test is free. If this will be your first time taking the SAT to register, look for the SAT flyers around the school. Attention National English Honor Society members, the NEHS Christmas Party will be on Friday, December the 11th from 3 to 5 p.m. in rooms 258 and 259. We hope to see you all there. We wanted to say congrats to this week's Teacher of the Week, Mrs. Gillian Davis, a math teacher here at CHS. She was nominated by Caitlin Galica. Make sure to go to KTIGnews.com and click the Nominate Here button to nominate your favorite teacher. Rescue the Reindeer, Save the Snowman. Attention teachers, we have lost our student council reindeer and snowman and are offering a reward for them to be found. If you find the reindeer or snowman in your room, bring it to room 1027 and claim your reward. The paw print will be selling candy cane grams for $1 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays through December 11th. They will also have holiday goodie bags for $5 along with new crew necks, long sleeve tees, and a special Connor High Christmas shirt. Stop by during your lunch on white days to get your merch before it's sold out.
This week's College of the Week is Texas A&M Engineering Academies. The A&M Engineering Academy program is the first engineering transition program of its kind in the U.S. Unlike traditional transfer programs, students admitted into the Engineering Academies are A&M College of Engineering students from day one. Students are co-enrolled between Texas A&M and one of their partner community colleges, taking their mathematics, science, and core curriculum classes through the community college while taking engineering courses from Texas A&M faculty on the community college campus. After one or two years, students transition to Texas A&M to complete their bachelor's degree. The community colleges that are partnered with Texas A&M include Blinn College, Houston Community College, and Austin Community College, just to name a few. This is a great opportunity for students wanting to pr- pursue engineering but may not be admitted directly into an engineering program. Today, we wanted to leave you with a note regarding school lunch. The district is currently providing free meals to all students, so make sure to take advantage of that at lunch. That doesn't mean that if you have to have free lunch in the past, that you shouldn't fill out the application. The application helps you to get reduced prices for class fees, A-B tests, free SAT or ACT, and some free application fees for college. Well, those are all the announcements we have for today. Don't forget to follow us on all social media at KTIG News. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in on tomorrow for more KTIG News.